Today I'm here with my most anticipated reads for June 2018. I have a total of five that I chose this time around. I tried to pick the less popular ones like always because nobody wants to hear about the same five books on every single channel. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have is called Lying in Wait and this is by Liz Nugget and it is supposed to be released June 12th. 2018. The tagline of this book is definitely what got me hooked so I'm just gonna read it to you guys so you can see why I'm so excited about it. It says my husband did not mean to kill Annie Doyle but the lying tramp deserved it. And then it goes on to say that this woman named Lydia has the perfect life but she's hiding this big secret for her husband and then her son Lawrence ends up finding out what this big secret is and all their secrets get unraveled as the story progresses. So I'm assuming that the son finds the dead body or something along those lines. So I'm interested to see where the story goes from that because I'm hooked on the tramp part of it to be honest. The next book I have I am so excited about because she wrote one of my favorite books. It's called Neverworld Wake and it is by Marisha Passell who wrote Night Film which I love uh, so much. I have a full review if you want to check it out but this is supposed to be released on June 5th 2018. The book follows a girl named Beatrice whose boyfriend Jim is killed and then a year later she decides to return back to her hometown to try to figure out what actually happened the night that Jim died. As I said Marissa Passell is one of my favorite authors so I'm just excited that she's finally releasing another book because I feel like it's been forever since she has so I'm super 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 excited about it. The next book I have is called Mine and it is by J.L. Butler and this is supposed to be released June 26, 2018. This book follows Francine Day who is a young divorce lawyer. She's very high up in her field and she ends up taking on a new client named Martin Joy and they unfortunately begin a little affair. Martin insists that his marriage is falling apart and that it's over and Francine doesn't quite believe him so she decides that she's going to actually follow his wife Donna. On the night that she decides to follow Donna she actually sees Martin and her having dinner together. The next day she wakes up in her neighbor's apartment covered in blood with no recollection of what actually happened the night before and then she gets the news that Donna has vanished and the last place she was seen was at the restaurant she was having dinner with Martin at. So she's a little bit confused with what actually happened that night and if she was involved at all and I'm just so here for it. I'm hoping that she's like some murderous little villain. I'm so excited to figure out the story behind it. The next book I have I think sounds really interesting. It's called Little Sister. This is by Isabel Ashdown and it is to be released June 26, 2018. This book follows Jess and her older sister Emily who used to be inseparable but then they had a little falling out for reasons unknown. Now several years later the sisters decide to rekindle their friendship and Jess ends up moving in with Emily at her home that she shares with her husband, her stepdaughter, and her little toddler. Then on New Year's Eve, little Daisy ends up vanishing while she's in the care of Jess and Jess can't actually remember what happened and where Daisy went. As the police begin investigating Daisy's disappearance, secrets that tore the sisters apart all those years ago come to light and it's basically the story of that. I just want to know what the heck these secrets are. I'm super intrigued so I'm very excited for this one as well. The final book that I'm very excited about I think sounds very good as well and it is called Hangman and this is by Jack Heath. It's supposed to be released on June 12th, 2018. It's about a 14 year old boy who ends up disappearing on his way home from school and his mother receives a ransom call hours before the final deadline. Police have no new leads so they turn to a man named Timothy Blake who is a genius known for solving impossible cases. The only thing is he's also a sociopath known as the hangman. And his price for saving one life is 
the ability to take a life in return. I just think that it sounds so interesting. I want to know what happens so badly. I can't decide which book I'm the most excited for. All five of them just sound really good. So you know your girl is probably not going to read them when they're released, but here's hoping that she might actually spend her money. All right, guys, so those are the five books that I'm most anticipating for June 2018. Let me know down below if you plan on reading any of them or if you've actually read them already, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!